Hello and welcome to Fixing South Sudan, your ideas for building the new nation. I am Adingor. Hello and welcome to Fixing South Sudan, your ideas for building the new nation. I am Adingor. This week on Fixing South Sudan, we remember the storied legacy of the People's Revolution, the SPLA, SPLM. 36 years ago, on May 16, 1983, Major Karbino Kwanyanipol and 105 Battalion mutinied in Bor, triggering one of the longest civil wars in Africa. Exactly a month later, on June 6, 1983, the Battalion 104 in Ayud mutinied under Commander William Nguyen Bain Macha. We are here to talk about the revolution that can be called Commander William Nguyen Revolution. What inspired the revolution? What were the issues? Was it a response to what happened on May 16? And with us for the show, General Ayuna Aliri Jungror, an agricultural officer in Ayud during the mutiny, a veteran of the SPLA commander and former SPLA deputy chief of general staff for training and research. General Machar Akau Machar was second lieutenant in charge of Ayud police station during the mutiny and former director of Moral Orientation in South Sudan National Police Service. Also joining us is Major General David Deng Adul, student during the Ayud Mutiny and current Director of Training, Ministry of Wildlife Conservation and Tourism. Our pleasure to speak on the occasion of the 36 years anniversary of the SPLA, SPLM. Welcome to all of you and General Ayuna Aliyah, let me start with you. You have vivid memories about the Ayud mutiny, how it happened, and put us into context. Commander William Nguyen was at the center of it all, and you were also there. Welcome. Thank you, Madimor. Uh, my name is uh, now Joral Ayuan Alir. I was transferred to Ayud and I arrived at Ayud in April 1983 as an agriculturist to head the Department of Agriculture in Ayut. While I'm in Ayut, Dave William Nguyen begins to talk to me. You are an agriculture officer, but you are going to be an army officer. I asked him why he said that the southerners are, they have their move, that will inspire later on at any time. After the Calvino move in Bor, and while I was in Ayut, it was necessary for William Nguyen to maintain all the cars of the army that were off-road in, in, in Ayut. But it was difficult to make that. When contacting those in Malakal, in Malakal they were fearing and they were fearing as long as William Nguyen, as long as Kabina has gone, it will be followed by, by William Nguyen. So William Nguyen should not be strengthened by maintaining the tanks and the cars. So Nguyen begin now to, to talk to us I and my brother, uh, Machara Akau, who was the police officer by then, and uh, three of us, he had been talking to us all the time. So when that one is fired, then we begin now to, to think on how do we communicate and how do we refer the cars that were in Ayur. No one wanted all these cars to be maintained before he think of doing anything. First, let me start with May 16. 
uh, the instruction happened and the major Corbin or Kwan Yin Paul, did you hear about it in Ayut or not? Yeah, we heard about it in Ayut. That's because we heard it because there was an incident because uh, our, our man, Richard, who was the executive officer in Ayut, he went, he left Ayut and he went to Bor so that to go and bring the salaries. And exactly the day, the, the 16 May, it was the day that he was supposed to go and collect the salaries from the police station. And then he moved to Ayut. But that morning at five, that incident happened and all people ran away in Bor. So this is how we learned. We were informed that, ah, you are not going to receive your salaries. Something happened in Bor. What was the reaction of Commander William Nguyen after he heard about what happened in Bor? Immediately after the incident in Bor, uh, William Nguyen now began to talk to us on a daily basis. And the issue was, what do we do and how do we do it? How do we react? But of course, we, 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 for me, I was a civilian by then. So I was not a soldier. But we were concerned about what is happening in South Sudan. But Machar was always, their words always merged because he was already a soldier. He was just graduated from, from police college and he was transferred to a youth. So they know what they were doing. We know that the youth mutiny happened on 6 June, but was it planned or was it spontaneous? Yeah, it was planned. Because William, we did not fix the date. But William, all this time, his interest was to maintain the cars, as I said before. So he used to tell me, I used to move to, 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 to Canal so that I take the messages to the, to the Canal so they are taken to Malakal, asking for spare parts. But those of that one, they were asking me, why, why are you, as a civilian, coming here? But already, when incidents in Bor and Nyanya too, have started to make ambushes between Malakal and Ayut. So that one made it difficult for any soldier to climb any car from Ayut to Malakal or from Bor to, 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 to Malakal. So I was used as a civilian to move asking for this one. But the, on these guys, I was always carrying messages to Tahir Biur, who was the commander of the, of the engineering in, uh, in, in, uh, in Canal. So all this one, when this situation arrived like that and the date come, we have learned through the signal office in, in Ayut, that the army in Malacca, they were planning to come and take, or come and, uh, and take Ayut on the 7th. This one inspired us to plan the date to be on the 6th. Prematurely. Prematurely, so that before the day. And General Machara Kau, you were already there in Ayut as a police officer. <coughs> How did the revolution in Ayut started? What were the key details that led to the, uh, to the mutiny itself. Uh, thank you, Madiangor. Uh, mutiny of 104 in Ayut was a planned thing. In April, William Yuan, Major William actually approached me and he confided to me that there was a clandestine movement by all the Southern Sudanese that they were going to to rebel against the Sudan government. And shooting was going to start on the 18th of August, 1983. But that secret or that information trickled uh, to the general command in Khartoum. They discovered uh, the secret and then they counter plan. The counter plan of the Sudan government was to transfer all the forces of the Southern Command to the north. And they actually started with the 20 spare of one 11 battalion. They succeeded to do that. They were coming to the 20 spare of 105, but there was a resistance. And the government of Sudan decided actually to attack 105 battalion. Uh, during those political upheavals, uh, William Yon asked me that we should also plan our mutiny in Ayut. There were actually two tanks in Ayut. We saw that if we started shooting, 
in a unit. Uh, those two tanks may actually uh, foil or fail our operations. So we plan actually to take away uh, the crews of those two tanks, uh, the crews of radios, uh, and the security personnel. By sending them uh, to Puktap, and he actually appointed me as head of that mission. The mission was actually made that we were going to, to sell out some elephant task, which were actually accumulated by the forces of William Yuan at Ayur during their operations with Ayanya II. Uh, we actually, we told those uh, crews that you go with these police officers. Sell out this elephant task to the white man at Puktap. He will actually translate uh, the, 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 the deal. Uh, that was how actually I took the force, those forces to a youth, and immediately after me... To Puktap. Uh, to Puktap, I mean. Uh, and immediately after that, uh, William started, or the southerners started shooting the northern personnel. Uh, after they have actually finished their operation, William sent to me a unilayer and he came to me at booked up at about 7 p.m. I then informed me on that the 6th or on the 5th? On, on the 5th. Oh. That was on the, on, that, that was on the 6th. Uh, he told me that uh, the operation is finished. William is telling you, you deal away with those people. So it was actually difficult to handle them. The, I went to the first plan. The first plan was to take them back to a youth, uh, and then we were all captured, and uh, then they were handed to, over to me. Uh, that was how we actually succeeded uh, in mutiny at a youth. We maintained the ground at a youth. Uh, the command of Malakal did not actually have any information about our mutiny. And uh, can you? For the benefits of those who don't know, how did the mutiny start it exactly, the battle on that very day? Uh, for the, uh, actually, uh, the, the, the southerners, the southern forces in 104 were already enlightened. And immediately after I took away the crews of the tank and other forces, uh, the, the, the shooting erupted at a youth against the northern personnel. So it, it was the tanks were the deterrent. The Once they deterrent. were taken out, yes. it was a very rapid yes, response. Rapid, uh, operation. Is there a linkage between what happened in Bor and what later happened in a youth? There or are a, they two separate incidents? Uh, there was a link because there was actually a general mutiny. There was a, a, a planned general mutiny in the Old South at an appointed date of 18th of August, which was actually uh, foiled by the government of Sudan. So the thing was a joint operation, was a joint thing. And uh, Major General Deng Adul, let me bring you in here. You were a student, and your students always remember the most. What can you say about 6 June 1983 in Ayut? Yeah, I can thank you for bringing us to this uh, uh, situation or this interview to show the history actually can actually go off if there's no people who are after. Okay. Taban, how are you going to a youth mutiny taban no kan haja plan le kan haja no maruf o kitano 104 105 no 
rebel في في بور سو so, في كان محاوله انا كنت في معسكر انا كنت اكل وزين ذا باركس مع راجل اختي قبل الجمعه كوي هو واز ذا سكند ذا ثيرد ان كوماند ذات اي يود سو زمان ذا فعلاً إنه كان في قوات الجامن بور من الجيش كان مسر بور وجاء بواسطة قوات وقد جاء لقوات في يوم سبعة وعشرين ومن قام جاء لعيون وجيل بتوب لعيون مكان ما كبر يوني so في بدل بكبر ده إنه ما خلا ناس يوانا كانوا يكون مرتاحين so ناس زي إنه خش في تنادي وناس زي الخش في mun jabi maskar so fi jid bitaw fi maskar mun the word question le into jid to bun kabar so the ada 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 le nas nyon we ino ala sadan fi haja mun is intended the channel nas ele ji kabato so felen nas ele no kaman no sha ko no serve channel mun garin fogo ma ko is so mun ja gampi de si yom so nyon wada wan man al nas bitaw lo Comrade Samuel, Madara Sijar, Samuel Yunis, I shall name him Mom, M. C. Giblom, may have a tomb. So much of it as Samuel Devon fell in much amalaji there, Sabayum. If you would do the time you mask her and a Kunabella, Mom Kusena, so Nana, you know, Faterna, who can't be one menal Nadar Fordis in Musubahi, who can. Operator betul ada radio, so ni nak kuno macam ni nak kerja nama, so pada asur, ukat u gamu pada radio, so hari betul radio tower ni, wana gada pi, anak mah gunta besri, so sah pi nas betul malakal ya, nas malakal maya betul naik jimite, so operator betul malakal galau malah sah maya betul aku mash, lekik mana kalam dia kait. Uo fere karo gala na masi mitu kwenye tapuata bushi, so zoe le karo tana gala na bure leje yake na zile masi ni mada kalamu kai, so kalamu mada sab taba aneno ana baada ni haji bure laje de, ana jita gumta, umashir, so umashir da gaba tama wadi si mugaru istijo, aluwa kando komanda inuan, so sani ya dema njoo apa ni tajai mwe, bure tana ni tajai mwe, ni tajai mwe, so na bure leje na tajai mwe malkustena. يا لا أنا أقول له يا أخي أنا أقول له أنا سبيكر ما أنا سميت قبيل من صباحي وصار ناس دا ملكال وزول دا ملكال بقول له يا أخي ناس اللي جايين ما تكلم لقائد وكر مرتين سو كل ما دانا شوف ده إنه بكون في حاجة سو قرأوا سالني إنه سميت كلام لقائد أنا أقول أنا سميت لقائد ده كان يوم خمسة سو ماشي وماشي سال الصباح الصباح قالوا على سر ناس اللي ما جاي سو ماشي نادي نسيب ده وقال يا أخي في كلام نسيب كلام Tak nampak jinar. Umur jalan itu berat, ujar salam ni. Anak kerat umur nafsu kalam. So umur fahamkan tak nampak macam zaman yang. Anak jita cara dengan nafsu kalam. So pada umur jah salam ni. Fi plan betam. Sabah anak jita cara terbaik Allah Sana. Fi nafsu sabah yang sita. Ya uno macar. Uno si bude. Umur wadang mission betah dal nazar. So nazar uar kurud. Alkan betah intelligence itu mali. Ou quand tu as ouïe, ou fait ouïe de ce mot A wad, ou sa wab ta da da baba Ou fi ta la ta afra ta ni, ou mou masha Fi nafsu yom sita When the battle started, did you join them, did you became co-opted into me ou arba? Taba nana, zama da gana fi maskar taba nana So ou kere nou, bika sahi da shir, be nahar أصل شق شق صغير كده، so ناس جرا في ال في أجرة، بي أنا ذات وأنا كنت جريت ل لأوضة بتاع صباحي ده، ألو بتاع شارع ده، لكن أنا مشيت لقيت صباحي وكان ماشي مع الشاي، وما في شو أوضة، so في واحد إنه من أولاد من أولاد شو ليش مو أروب ماشي أروب، هو فعلا مفاجئ بتاع دكتور يو، so هو يا جامع دكتور يو بتاعه ورشة ل ل لكيم في نص تاع الناس. So if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, they are not going to be able to do it. So if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, they are not going to be able to do it. So if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, 
ከቸለ ሹማሊን ወገበዱም ዴ ሃቭ ናት አፋና ዩ አር ሬዚንግ አን ኢምፖርታንት ፖይንት ሁ ሀው ዌር ዘ ካጁልቲስ ዋት ዌር ዘ ካጁልቲስ ኢን አይዩት ኦር ዎዝ ኢት ጀስት ዋን ኢንጀሪ ኢት ዎዝ ዋን ኢት ዎዝ ሞንጆል ሁ ዎዝ አፍየል ኢንጀሪ አንድ ኦን ዘ ሳይድ ኦፍ ዘ ኦፍ ዘ ሱዳኒስ ሶልደርስ ኖ ኦኬ ሶ ናው ሌትስ ጌት ቱ ዘ ሜይን ፖይንት አባውት ዘ ሲግኒፊካንስ ኦፍ ዘ ዩት ሚቱኒ uh general you know earlier i want to get your perspective on what do you think is the contribution of the ayud mutiny to the general liberation and to the general success of what would become spla spla uh, thank you very much uh, madam nor it was really a, a huge incident or a huge mutiny a really contributed a lot to the general uh, mutiny of people of south sudan because by then when a youth rebelled this information went all over the south again and this one had made other garrisons other south sudanese in the other garrisons in baragazar and all over to know that the thing has become the real when it was in bor it was considered as if it was something that is individual but when a youth joined in the rest of the garrisons like umbek and other things they 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 came in and the important part of this is that william yon as when i continue to say is, is a true nationalist when the army moved from alakal coming to ayut to take him over to take over in ayut the cars that come came from uh, from malakal with the troops fell into our ambush on the way from ganal coming to ayut and they managed to come but i and machar we were given a task because now we have come soldiers you see for me i become a soldier now then become a soldier so that day that uh, on on the 7th so, so let me say that the starting of the mutiny in the in ayut on the 6th was that after machar left with those uh, figures in the sudanese army the, the other northerners left with them we decided from here that one it is going to rain because the rain was already taking coming up so we agree with nyuan who come much have already left that that the, the, the signal will be the because the first the signal was to be the buri of atur because in the army when people are going for breakfast there is a buri that there's that alone so we know that this nine and everybody will go but what happened was that it was the rain that comes before so when the rain was coming before the alternative was that when it is raining later on the people are rushing into the tents or into the huts you the people you soldiers that there were south sudanese who were designated once it is raining you jump into the tank close your head in and the northerners because they have the day 7 they know that something is going to happen so they were very inquisitive so one is media this one happened people begin now to jump into in, in, into the tanks as said before by them this man called uh, arop matthew arop immediately he started to shoot at the northerners but was uh, very unfortunate he shot at one of our colleagues and that was the starting of the thing so when that thing happened i follow mashar as he said i follow him by night i went and informed and i came back that is i came back on date 7 but after me by night shooting happened and this one now people of malkal begin to know that there is something that that happened in malkal because the information went so in the afternoon when mashar came back with those forces and they were apprehended then in the evening of the of 7 the, the 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 troops came from malkal they fall into ambush and then when they were stopped at the I and Mashar who were given that task by William Yuan to go and receive those people because they see everybody wearing uniform so they were confused what happened it was in their mind maybe that their forces in Ayyut they have taken over Ayyut because there was no communication because when it was raining the radio was closed was was put off and the incident happened so nobody opened the radio again so those Malka when they were coming they did not know so when they see there are a lot of people wearing they saw that their forces inside the youth are the one now we have taken over we went there we find the major we said oh 
William is asking for you to come. So uh, General Machar, yeah. General Yuen said that the contribution of the IUD mutiny was to raise the consciousness of the people of South Sudan all over southern Sudan. Katiba Mio Arba, what was the achievement, your achievement, collective achievement, what would you say about the importance of the IUD mutiny? Uh, in fact, the importance of IUD mutiny, it gave uh, weight uh, to the rebellion of 105. Because the rebellion of, 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 of the 105 was actually in defensive position. They were attacked by the government of Sudan. But uh, our action in Ayyud was a plan thing. It was successful, very successful. And it actually uh, arose the, the moral of the South Sudanese people. Also, it gave people uh, the idea that war has started because everybody was anticipating that rebellion uh, in August, uh, in 18 August 1983. That, that date was not reached. Uh, when 104 actually mutinied again, it actually gave a weight to the struggle of the people of South Sudan. And that is how actually the movement succeeded. Can you uh, qualify what you mean by the youth mutiny succeeded? Did it succeed in taking over youth? Or yes, the war we, started and yes. you, you left? for the bush, or did you take over a yacht? Uh, actually, all the northern Arab personnel were actually eliminated in a yacht in a successful way, which was not happening, which was, was not the case in, in 105. Uh, we also stood our ground in a yacht for a period of time without uh, leaving a yacht until a, a ground force was sent. So you had taken over on that day, well, yes. 6th June? 6th June. Yeah. Until we, we actually held the ground until uh, the command at Malakal sent another, another force of uh, Major Abdurrahman and Captain Yusuf Muhammad Yusuf with a platoon to come and capture us. And we managed also to receive them until we captured them. We also dealt away with them. We made a screening, I and the UN. And uh, we left all the southerners. They joined into their brothers. Uh, but all the northern Arabs were actually eliminated. Those who came with Major Abdurrahman and Captain Yusuf Mahmoud Yusuf. Can we now make a link between 105 and 104 and the coming in of Dr. John? Uh, yes, after uh, we withdrew actually from Ayud, we went to a place called Pantiop. From there, Dr. John, when he reached to a place called Marol in the Sopian border, he sent a letter. Uh, with First Lieutenant Tiob Luai. He was actually from Ngok. He sent that message to, to us, to William Yuan. The content of the message was that you, William Yuan, you collect all the forces of 104, 105 and look for Carabino where his whereabouts and come to the border. He concluded the letter that I hope our movement will succeed. That letter, it was me who wrote it uh, to Major William. From there, we appointed, we sent uh, missions, one going up to, to Bor and one going to Carbino in touch where he was, he was hidden. After he was wounded. After he was wounded. 
He was actually taken to torture. Karabina was brought. Forces of 105 were, were collected from there, and they came to us. We moved from Antioch to a place called uh, Kotalo. From there, we all reassembled, and then we moved to the border according to the request of uh, Dr. John. Uh, on our way to the border, uh, I personally, I was asked by William Nguyen to attack what? As a part of recruitment. In fact, I attacked what? And uh, the majority, most of the police personnel, they came out. They joined us. Like uh, the father of your, uh, Ian McQuaid, he's called McQuaid McGigir. He's, he came uh, with his forces and they joined us and then we proceeded to the Ethiopian, to the Ethiopian border. And uh, can I, maybe we move very quickly. If I ask you who was Commander William Nguyen Bang, what would you say? You knew the person, what can you say about the attributes of Commander William Nguyen? Taban Haja and Bugula and Kalam Kalmabra Kunze Kalmabra Kombatayan and a fellow combat man was all Shija Raso was all Botany. Leon of Guru was all Botany. Fi Bidai of the Nana Badena Fia Yurt, Mabzol in Ukan Maman, Roa Junubi. Fi Dukul Botana Kaman, the Nana Machena. Fi Uncle Butana Khan Bulu Wakan at Yaukan at the Abitel Majlis, a Khan Mugur Fi Fiyut Samanda Khan Mugur at a certain in one my MC. Now my MC, whom I am my shaka, they go to Amun and my shaka, but I'm not at Bell. Shana the good Fida Kalayur. Let him wonder, Madame, who can dare the Ekul River Nasa, even the outside. Lano Khan Mugur at a certain Butana de Mavadan. So in the net of Tadel Gulu, Zema Yun Gibel Kalamu. A rebellion to you, who are our suburb? A lower bell to me of Hamza. Lano and Batamia Hamza Nas can go as Nazir and Nukanda and Bakalam Tagurus, Munakal Guru. They are kind of a policy, a kind of Jalaba canon, what a Lukulu, rather than you know being. Like in Ukraine, ya as a military period, Naziri for a sudden desert, but at a genu, Lanama, the Guruskana Kalopia year. So Sabbath at the Mur, but at a genu bean, the Gava. So one of Gulu no Juan, you know, fell and no San Watani, Zema and Ukanena Machina, fell and Ukanena Machina Lagina, Nazbata Machina Ukanena Machina Bill Farm. Nana Lagina, uh, what is mu? Aruh akan kaya tak bilfam. Ukara lah sahaja. Itu nanti nyonya buat duit ni. Lepas nyonya kalau la, anak macam ni jenis buat macam ni. Anak ini kaya dah tu tak? Jom garang fee itu. So anak macam ni itu. Anak kuda wild mana ras betul. So itu, itu darab. Zul dah darab sila betul aku. Nyonya kemana darab sila aku? Unen aku kemana macam ni. So itu nyonya lokan kan main insan buat ni kan zaman dah kan jauhnya nyanyi tu. Lain kan agak lebih orang nyanyi tu kan nuer. Lagi ni nyuan itu file itu nu kana al fikir apa tau kana nak jinu, so file itu nu nyuan itu sangat penting. And this. Lebih betul betul macam ni nuah yudas bet, bayi nuah lah sahaja nu betul betul yudas kan nu yudas nasi tu, zaman itu kau berani macam kelam. Nenek mana almost nu syar, ujaran bukan macam fikir yudas. But nenek lah kan nenek rana mana yudas macam ni lepas antio, dia akan dukul betul betul ni, alguh betul betul aduk. Macam ni aja mana? Belen, ufi misa betul amun kan dengan kemana cendek insa insa bu. So ni nama cendek kemana amun no ambush urajana fiayur. So ni kan sebenar tu, ini adalah sahaja ni kan mutant dah, ini kan successful mutant. And General Machar, the same question, who was William Nguyen as a person and also as a commander? In fact, Comrade William Nguyen was a very intelligent army officer. He was a nationalist. He was innovative. Somebody who can turn bad situations into success. 
without William Yon, there would have been no movement. Because we face many difficulties on our way to the southern border and in Ita when we were forming the movement. Uh, but he stood very firm. William Yon was respected very much by all sectors of Nguyen. That also contributed to the success of our movement. So William Yon, uh, I can say without him, uh, there would have been no more step. In the same way they say the Boer Revolution belongs to Major Carbino Kwanyin Bol. Can you say the same about the Ayut Mutiny, that it belongs to uh, Major uh, William Nguyen Bang? Uh, in fact, I can say the mutiny of Ayut belongs to William Nguyen because it is William Nguyen who actually brought us to you to know anything of, about the, the move of the Southern Sudanese people. It is William Nguyen who approached me is William Young who approached uh, Comrade Ewen, and he told us, he confided to us all what was actually, all the political upheavals that were taking place, and what was to be, to be done by Southerners. Without him, nobody was courageous to tell another person about the, the clandestine movement. And so, very briefly, what would you say about the composition of uh, Mia Arba? 104 battalion in terms of who was in 104? Uh, in fact, uh, the composition of the two battalions, uh, I can say that William has contributed a lot. Where without William, William actually made the, the, these two forces stronger. He was actually recruiting uh, all uh, the Nuer people in the Nuer area, because the movement started in Nuer area. He was actually standing very strongly against anybody opposing the movement. So the strength of the two battalions actually was William Yuan. And General Yuan, let me bring you, bring you in here. The revolution, the SPLA, SPLM. The most credit is given to Major Carvino Kwanyin Bol and to William Nguyen. And the irony was, in the end, they uh, defected from the SPLA. They fought. They turned their guns against the SPLA, SPLM, the movement that they founded and championed. What do you, what would you, what do you say about that irony? And in the end, they died on the other side while they were out of the SPLA, SPLM, which they founded and championed. Uh, thank you very much. I, there is one point here that I want to make clear to people of South Sudan. It's about uh, Major William Nguyen. A lot of people in Sudan government were saying that William Nguyen had thrown all the people into, into, the, into the well in Ayot. But from now onwards, as I have said here, because there, are no, there was no opportunity for this one to be explained. This one I must say to people of South Sudan, the people of Sudan, that William Nguyen never, never, and have never thrown anybody into the pit. This one was done by the local people. Because I and Mashar were the people who screened the, the soldiers who were captured. The South Sudanese and the Darfurian, they were put on one side, according to his directives. If anyone from Darfur wants to join us, give him his gun, together with South Sudanese. But the, the real uh, northerners, they should be put in one place. So when we done that, and we were going back to William now to report to him, he told us that, he went and told us this one. When we came back to where the people were being kept, the local population, they came and they speared these people and they sent them into, into what? Into, into the pit. It was not work of William. William Nguyen didn't know. It is we, after this one happened, when we went back to report to him, this, we were the people who went and report to him that this is what happened. Coming now to the paradox of, uh, of their contribution and uh, their going away, I should say here is still to say that William Yuan was 
more and more nationalists than anybody of us. Because of all the action that he has been, do been doing, he has been standing for the revolution of the South Sudanese. Now coming back, after we have been making the successful operation, now the Sudan government, Sudan government and elements within us, they begin now, to, you see, to say that, no, this revolution, John Garang has taken over your revolution because he was the one in Ayut and the Carvino in what? In Bor. People begin now, the saboteurs, saboteurs begin now to say words. So they, it went through their mind. And this one, with the play, good play of Sudan government, this is what took them away from the SPLM because they were being told that to your ruling that is being hijacked. So they went away, but William Nguyen, as I have said always, that he is a revolutionary and he is a nationalist. He went and found out that this one was not true. He came back. He died on the side of the SPLA. William Nguyen did not die on the other side. But Carbino, because, of his, uh, because he was very I arrogant, yeah? that's why he did not come back. But he had known the fact until he was killed internally by his own people who were, who, that, that Gadit, it is Gadit, who just died. He's the one who killed, uh, who Both killed, of them. Who, 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 who killed Carbino. And also William Nguyen. And also William Nguyen. The forces of William Nguyen, those who were mutinied, and then they, they mutinied within the William Nguyen forces after he had come to our side, and he was killed. So I can say that today, I still am really very sorry that we have lost William. If William were to be around, I think the, this revolution, the face would have been different from now. And can you say the last word in memory of your colleagues who perished in the battle? You became a fierce commander later on and a senior um, commander uh, during the war. What can you say in memory of 36th anniversary of the SPLA SPLA? It's really a, it was really a painful road to the freedom. From here, I will say that there are two gentlemen here that I have to mention. There is, uh, and these are Murle officers. There's one called Kelman Katinya, Nilma Katinya. This man, God has robbed us of him. And the, God has robbed us this revolution about this man. And uh, there is someone also called Alan. Also because this, I don't know if they were around now, will the people area would have been like this, it would have been different. But the revolution of the... Now, I am telling all my colleagues who are now veterans, that this government is your government. The revolution is yours, and the government is your government. You always work hard, so that you continue to work hard like when you were fighting in the revolution, so that this, the future of the people of South Sudan is guaranteed by the SPLM SPLA. Fix South Sudan. Yes. Will South Sudan be fixed? By this way, we will be fixing South Sudan. If you are all veterans of the revolution, are you veterans who don't sing a song? Is there a song about William Nguyen? Yeah, yeah, there were songs about William Nguyen, but I... Is there any I, song that you remember? Song I, can, I cannot remember. Anyone remembers a song? About William Nguyen? Yeah, they were Nguyen. saying, uh, there, there was something, Carbina, Bekore, Belena, Belena, William Nguyen, Bekore, Belena, Belena, Marmolale, Jamadi, Aiwa, Aiwa, Gina, Figa, Ba, Katiba, Jamus. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.